what's up Mopar fam as you can see we got project storm in the shop and we have already started on the truck uh, just a quick recap so far we started off with taking the hood off and we have the front grill and just the little engine cover or the radiator cover off right here and that is just so that we can get some more light inside the engine bay so that we have a lot more light in here and be able to see a lot better and just do a better job overall um, so you don't have to take your hood off or any of that mess but we did just so we get a little extra light in here as I don't have the brightest of lights in, up here at the shop so that's what we got going on all right so the other thing we did real quick is we pressure washed the engine got it nice and clean degreased it so we we got a nice clean engine to stick this brand new shiny torque storm supercharger on um, so we got it washed up and also as you can see we got the cold air intake off the truck this did have the factory Mopar cold air intake kit on it which is currently chilling out in the bed over here and our pile of parts we got going on <clears throat> so we remove that Obviously the Torque Storm Supercharger takes up this passenger side area and that is why we no longer can use it. So that's gone. The other thing we did earlier today is we put in new spark plugs. Uh, we went with uh, One Step Colder Spark Plugs, the NGK brand. These are the spark plugs that we use right here. These are the NGK plugs. That's the part number. You're going to need 16 of these spark plugs. As many know, the Hemis use two spark plugs per cylinder. So you got a total of 16 plugs. That's the part number we use for a one step colder. And we gap them to 28. So we did a 0.28 gap. And that's the same gap I use on Frostbite. And it seems to work good for me without having any spark blowout issues. Uh, usually runs pretty good. So that is the other thing we did today. Uh, we spared you guys the install of the spark plugs. I think many people who is uh, watching th this video and this build probably has already done spark plugs on their Hemi. And uh, I didn't feel the need to record that. But we do have the one step colder plugs in. So that's it. So we are going to grab the Torque Storm instructions. And we are going to go to step one and start tearing this joker down and getting a supercharger put in here. So let's go. All right, we're going to do a quick little recap of what's going on. Project Storm, the 2012 Dodge Ram 1500 5.7 Hemi 4x4. We have, obviously, the Torque Storm Supercharger. Proudly made in the USA. Same one that's on Frostbite. This box is full of all the pulleys and brackets and everything from Torque Storm. And... They have some of the best instructions, by the way. We'll go over those here in a minute. And then the other thing we have over here, this is going to be the boost gauge we're using. This is an Autometer Mopar license product and has a little Mopar symbol in there. Same boost gauge that I use on Frostbite. I love this gauge. It works good. And then we have the FIC injectors. These are the 650cc FIC injectors. And then for our cooling side, this is gonna be a non-intercooled setup. We're gonna use water methanol injection, and that is what we're gonna be doing for our cooling. So we have a stage one boost snow performance kit. This is everything in the box for the water meth. And then we're gonna run the same 180 Maladon thermostat as well for the uh, cooling system on the truck. Uh, between these two, being a street build and a fun truck to drive, this should be more than enough for what we're going to do with this truck. So that's what we got going on. Uh, we already disconnected the battery and we're ready to go. All right, so here is the torque storm instructions and step one is basically stuff that we've already went ahead and done, which is removing the factory air box. Um, they want you to drain the coolant, although on this truck, it's really not going to be necessary. And I'll tell you the reason later here in a second. 
um, and then doing undoing the factory IAT sensor which we've already removed the whole entire air intake system on the truck so that doesn't matter right now so we're pretty much to step two and again these instructions are very good um, now step two really don't pertain too much to us as this truck already has this thermostat neck um, for some of the eight speed trucks out there they run a different thermostat neck and it does require you I believe to replace it with the supplied one that they give you um, but this truck does not really require that um, so really we wouldn't have to remove this if we didn't want to but we are going to remove it because we're going to install the Molodon thermostat real quick and then after that we'll be going on the stage or to step three which is going to be pulling off the factory harmonic balancer and getting ready to do the crank drilling and putting on the supplied ATI pulley that they give us uh, so that'll be obviously on it this is the hardest part of the whole entire supercharger installation uh, so this is the stuff here you're going to want to pay attention to the most but that is coming up here soon so again we're going to go ahead and get the thermostat put in pretty easy to get to on these trucks you just have a couple bolts down here and uh that's it and pretty much if you hold this hose up high you don't really leak a whole lot of fluid uh, so you'll need a catch pan under there to catch some of it but other than that pretty much pretty much it and uh what was it 13? 13 yeah and those bolts are 13 millimeter so we're gonna get them out we're gonna switch out the thermostat put in our molodon and go from there all right so real quick guys we have the factory thermostat out this is the factory one this is the molodon in his hand and just want to go over something you will need to use the factory seal that's on your uh, old thermostat and put it onto the Molodon as it's a direct fit drop in. Um, the Molodon does not come with a seal, so you can use the old seal that came on your old thermostat, just put it around there and you're good to go. All right, everybody, so we got the Molodon thermostat installed. Uh, next up is going to be removing the factory harmonic balancer and then doing the crankshaft drilling and putting on the torque storm pulley and ATI pulley down there on the crankshaft. Uh, to do that, we're gonna try to make us some extra room. So we are gonna be removing the fan shroud and the clutch fan and get basically this whole mess out of here so we can get some more room. As you can see, it's kind of jammed up right there by the bottom of the fan. So uh, we're gonna get that out of the way down there. And that's where we stand. So we're gonna get this stuff out real quick. So we're gonna remove this stuff real quick, get it out of the way and continue on and get to the hard part. All right, so we're removing the uh, fan shroud. They're 13 millimeter bolts as well. And it looks like there's two on each side of the shroud. And then we're gonna have to undo the clutch fan. And you can do that with a big wrench and a hammer. Uh, or you can use an air hammer if you have an air compressor at home. Um, but usually those are reverse threads. And it just unscrews off the water pump. Which is that big, big nut down there. If it zooms in here, show you what I'm talking about. There we go. That guy right there. So we're going to unscrew that real quick. Alright guys, as you can see we got the fan clutch off and the electric fan shroud we got that off now what we are doing is removing the factory serpentine belt real quick and for that you just need a 3 8 ratchet or a breaker bar or something to put down here on the tensioner there you go and then as he loosens the tension, I'm going to pull the belt off real quick. There we go. All there is to it to get the belt off. And then we're going to be tackling that big pulley down there, the harmonic balancer pulley. we got to get that off. That's going to be the next fun thing to do. So moving on along, let's get this belt out. 